Hello and welcome back to my Shop with Immo channel. It's a shopping day again today. Obviously it always is on the Shop with Immo channel. It always is. It's Tuesday today. We're running low on a few cupboard items and B&M is just the place for that. There's a couple of chilled items as well that I need that I'm going to get from Iceland and that's all I'm going to do today and then the rest of the video will be filmed later in the week when I get more perishable items from a bigger supermarket. I'm in B&M then so first thing on the list is these noodles. They're my favourite. <laughs> Basically, spicy stir fried. Oh, I'm gonna have more than that. That's all that's left. Should we grab a cup of the chicken as well? So those are 45 pence each. Now, baked beans are on the list. That's for my daughter, not for me. I don't even like them, but they've only got, well, they've got Heinz. I think that's really expensive, 3.75 for four, because you can get them so much more cheaply, like in Tesco's and places like that, if you get the own brand. My daughter seems perfectly happy with those. What are these, £2.50 for four, for the Branston, or £3 for six? That seems like a good deal, but will she eat six cans of them? That's the question, I don't know. She can take them back to uni with her if she doesn't. She's gonna go back by car, so. Weight isn't an issue. Mind you, I've got to carry them now. Do I want to carry them? I don't know. But they work out at 50 pence a can that way, as opposed to £1.20 for a can if you buy a single can of the Heinz beans. Staying on the canned food, I want the No Drain John West tuna chunks. So that's £3.49 for three. It is cheaper to buy the four that's not non-drain, but I just find it so much more convenient. I'm going to get two of those because we do go through them. There's a rapeseed oil here. This one says tuna heart. Ah, oh, mm, I'm tempted to get one of those, you know, give that a go. Let's, let's do a swap and we'll give that a try. Because it's 2 25 instead of 3 49 so it's quite a big saving. I've just used up the last of the tinned coconut milk that I always get from here. I put it in with sort of curry type food and I'll put some in some last night. It tasted delicious. It's 79 pence for a big 400 ml tin or 45 for 165 but I find these really really convenient for just putting in my little meals for one so I'm gonna get two of those for now I've got rice on my shopping list I just want normal rice to cook at home I'm seeing lots of this sort of pre-cooked stuff so this is a pound for this long grain rice we've got the Thai jasmine rice sounds very convenient Tilda that's a pound look the basmati I quite like the peri peri actually I sort of get it from going camping or something like that but I don't tend to buy it for the house well I don't see any ordinary rice so I'll put that on my shopping list for next time it's not urgent I've got a bit I've got plenty of spaghetti pizza bases there how much are they those are £1.59 for two large pizza bases big packet of spaghetti there for one thirty-nine, or a smaller one for 75 pence there's penne 75p fusilli for 80p I don't need pasta, so I'm just leaving that for today. I'm going to buy some sliced ham for my daughter to make toasties with. She loves a ham toastie. That's 169 for all that, so I should be delighted with that. I've noticed they do have a selection of fruit and veg down there as well. Look at that, apples and things. I wasn't going to get fruit and veg today. We got through our Vimto very, very quickly. <laughs> and do you know what? I didn't notice last time, and I have noticed it before, but somebody pointed out in the comments, I missed the fact that it was cheaper to buy three small Vimtos than one big one. But alas, they've only got really small ones now. I'm sure they were a bit bigger last time. So let's see how much is in here. That doesn't look like a litre. 725 millilitres. That's for one pound. Well, I don't know if they've got the big sugar-free ones, have they? Oh, they have. They're 3 50 but to be honest, now I've put all those baked beans in there, I don't think I can carry a big one, so I'm just going to get a little pound one for now, because we've been guzzling the stuff. We've got very little left of that big bottle we bought, so I'll just get that for today. This one is actually cheaper, because that's 11.7 pence per 100 millilitres, and this one is 13.8, but I think they did have bigger bottles of that before. I think. Maybe you can remember. I noticed there's an offer on the Seabrooks. Look, they're one pound. All right, where's the ready salted though? My daughter only likes ready salted. I'd have Worcester sauce flavour, mind. What's this one? Cheese and onion. I'm just going to check these off. Vegetarian. Yes, they are. Oh, look, they've got a little vegan approved thing down the bottom. I'm going to get one of those and I'll look for the ready salted flavour for my daughter as well. I think Seabrook crisps are my favourite. Look at all these Easter things. I don't feel quite ready to start thinking about Easter yet. Toiletries. Now I need some hand wash because I've run out in the bathroom. I'm running very low on my shampoo as well and I always get... Hang on. I always get the Faith in Nature, which I buy online, get from Amazon, like subscribe and save. But I found the price can really fluctuate and you, you just have it delivered and then you realise you've paid a lot more this month. So I keep cancelling the items. The thing is, whenever I use normal shampoo, I get these red blotches coming up on my face and neck. I did use one once from Greece and 
it had olive oil in it and I've noticed there's something here it's a bit pricey but it's cheaper than the faith in nature but I'm tempted to give it a go it's this one it's 2 .99. Oh, it's not a very big bottle mind I wonder what it's made of. I'm gonna have a quick look at the ingredients oh, I don't know it doesn't look that au natural I've got to be honest they've got shampoo bars in here look shampoo and conditioner bar they're only a pound I actually come to think that I do have a shampoo bar at home that I can use until I can get something I know won't flare my skin up oh I'm overwhelmed with choice look at all these mallow magic pound you're having a giraffe and all you've got to go on is the packaging and the colour I wonder why we make the choices that we do like they just look too I don't know too fancy for me this is drawing my eye to it just because of the colour it reminds me of Pears soap but the Pears one is 2 29 and that's a pound so I'm thinking oh right antibacterial it sounds like very functional which is why I want you know nice clean hands that's kind of pretty Orange blossom and lemon drops. Now that does sound nice. The smell sounds nice. Whereas that doesn't. Oh, coal tar fragrance. No, that doesn't sound like a very nice, pleasant experience, does it? I think I'm going to go for the orange blossom and lemon drops. Yes. It just sounds very nice. I could do with two, actually. But I think what I might do is see how I go with that one. And if I like the brand, get another smell another time for downstairs. They've also got vanilla and shea butter, magnolia and almond milk. That's apricot and jungle papaya. Foam malicious marshmallow. Ooh, that sounds fun. To the moon and back. Space candy and coconut cream. It's funny, I think the reason I didn't get drawn to these is the font is just so small on them. I think that's what put me off. I don't know why, it's funny. The only thing I want now is those crisps, the ready salted crisps, and then I'm going to head to Iceland and pick up some yogurts. Pound bargain. I'm in Iceland now. Do you know, I'm going to try these vegetable bulti bakes. They're a pound for two. Ooh. I was about to close the thing and I realised the man had his head in the way. <laughs> he was rummaging around in the next one. So I really don't need much from here. But do you know what? I'm hungry. This is the worst time to come shopping when you're hungry. That moose. Oh, that's moose. I was going to say that's a lot more expensive than the yogurts I got in Asda. That's £1.50 for six. I'm looking for yogurts for my daughter. She has a fruity yogurt in the mornings. This is very bizarre. I can't find normal fruity yogurts. they got dairy milk. Button desserts, £1.75 for a packet of however many that is. Four or three for a five. The same with the Smarties. They're 280 and then there's the mooses where's just the yogurts then we got all these sort of branded these things you know milky bar that's 125 for four is it oh that's on offer that's normally two pound she probably would like that to be fair i think she would enjoy it oh that's mousse though not yogurt i think the yogurt isn't yogurt anyway i think it's like desserts they call it that's two pound fifty for four yeah that's a bit dearer isn't it got the pots of joy where's the yogurts though got the big yogurts i just want the little ones might have to go empty-handed, I think. I'm surprised. A little fromage phrase for £1.25. Might get those to tide her over. Aha. Uh -huh. I couldn't see them for looking. Look, they're up there at Activia, but they're £2.50 for four. I think that's a lot. So, <laughs> not going to get those ones. What are these? Light and free. £2.50 again for four. Okay, fromage fray it is. That's £1.25 for a pack of four. I mean, they've got the tubes. I wonder if that works out cheaper. £1.20 for six. No, I'll just go with these. Hello, it's Thursday now. I'm going to go to Lidl shortly. I'm going to battle through the weather. It's been absolutely torrential rain here. I've been at my desk almost all day today, honestly, just been too busy to move. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to report back that the Balti Bakes from Iceland were absolutely lovely. I'll definitely be getting those again. And also, I liked the hand wash as well. But, oh my goodness, I'm going to get my raincoat on now and head off to Lidl. Wish me luck. Okay, that was a rainy walk to Lidl. Look how wet my jaw is. Oh my goodness. They've got lovely croissants there for 55 pence. I think my daughter might rather enjoy some of those. have got pano chocolat, chocolate croissants, things like that. Very good price. 65p for the pano chocolat. Apple turnovers there, 65p. That's my coat in there, all wet as well. I know my daughter loves apple pie, so I'm going to try with an apple turnover. That was 65 pence. I don't think she's had one before. I'll see if she likes it or not. The last time I came in here, all the bananas were great but we got some yellow ones today oh yes how much are those 90 pence per kilo i'm gonna get all those a little bit green but they'll ripen up won't they gradually we have packets of four avocados here it says store them in the fridge i didn't last time and three of them were beautiful and then the last one just went off i'm gonna get that that's 129 my daughter's loving avocados at the moment and i always love them Oh, look at that, they've got pomegranates, 95 pence. They look nice as well. I do like pomegranates. They're a bit all to eat though, aren't they? I'm allured by the shininess of it. Oh, so I'm going to have it. I'm being impulsive. It's going in the trolley. 
that's definitely for me I'm sure my daughter doesn't like those these red apples look the cheapest they're 99 pence for a pack of six that's pink ladies are 249 Gala are 139 pears 139 so per piece it's cheapest although bigger mind I haven't weighed them but I don't mind a little apple to be honest they're just handy for a quick snack you know pink ladies are 800 grams mind you that looks like it says 900 that's 900 that's 800 what the different weights no really is that allowed packets are the same price and oh, i don't see a weight on here unless i'm losing the plot i'm looking for scales but i don't see one just because i'm curious now i'm having a look at some of the fruit that's packaged up like the raspberries blueberries grapes cherries and i think the grapes do like the most value you know it's 179 for a planet like that i'm gonna go for those i think I already have some greens at home, so I'm not going to buy any green veg. Mushrooms though, as always, that's 99 pence for a packet like that. I'm going to grab a packet of mixed peppers, that's £1.69. And a courgette, they're £2.78 per kilo, I think. Celery, 69 pence. I love the fact that it's not in plastic anymore. Oh, that's heavy. That's massive, that is. Top tip, wrap them in foil in the fridge and they keep the moisture in and they don't go all limp and floppy and they last much longer. I'm going to grab a small bag of potatoes. This is 139 for four because I've used all my spuds up last night, you see. And they're just handy to have because you never know. They go with all sorts of things. They're good for my make it up the yours. I'm going to get some plain passata. It's for tomorrow's dinner. It's 55 pences. I might have one in the cupboard and I literally can't remember if I've used it or not. But it won't go off, so I don't mind getting too much because it'll get used eventually. You won't see me buying meat very often, but I'm buying some chicken for my daughter and boyfriend tomorrow. I've seen a pack of two, two chicken breasts. There we are. I didn't tell you how much that was. £2.35. I'm planning a pack lunch for Saturday. I'm going to get this Spanish potato and onion tortilla to have as part of our pack lunch. That's £2.45. I've spotted some gnocchi. It wasn't on my list, but I'm going to impulsively pick it up for me and my daughter to eat. It's £1.89. I love how ergonomic the trolleys are in Lidl's. They're so comfortable to push. Anyway, I'm at the cheese section and I want some sliced cheese. Must. Um, that's what I'm having. £1.89. Sweet and nutty, it says. Like me. <laughs> oh, and while I'm here, mozzarella slices as well. I love them. You get more for your money with that one, to be fair. I'm going to buy some of this ready rolled puff pastry for me and my daughter one day next week maybe. I saw on YouTube like a 1970s, I think it was, clip of Mary Berry doing something with cheese and tomato and puff pastry and it just looks so lush. I decided to make some yoghurts. We've still got some left but we're running out fast. Ugh, raspberry yoghurt, yeah that looks good. That was 95 pence for six. They do do very nice yoghurts in Lidl. I'm wondering if these are the ones, although those are the ones. Oh, that's so good. Those are just natural yoghurt, but these ones have got strawberry. Oh, how much are those? The strawberry, I think it's 189, I think. Let's see how I'm going for space, because I've got to get this in my trolley. Yeah, go on, go on. And mind you, I'm going to need some. No, I'm going to have these. <laughs> I'm going to buy some cream for my dinner of dreams tomorrow. Uh, singles probably right, isn't it? That's £1.55 for one like that, I think. No, it isn't. That's 99p. Right, it's going in. I'm going to do a cream and basata sauce with corn chunks of vegetables with something else. Rice. Yeah, with rice. Because I did something similar the other day and it was absolutely amazing. The tofu is 175 in here. I think it's like much more than that in Tesco's. It's got a long date on it, I see. 1st of May. We're not even at the 1st of April yet, so I'm going to grab two because they're such a good price. I love tofu. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. You seem to love it or hate it, I think. It's like Marmite. Not the taste, but you know, the fact that people love or hate it. Fish fingers is on the list. See, my daughter likes the meat and veggie type meals, you know, meat and two veg kind of thing. I know I don't eat meat. Um, but I do eat fish fingers, so I'm getting more of this sort of thing, you know, veggie sausages, fish fingers, and just things that we can have with potatoes and something green. Ah, oh, just spotted something my daughter like. I can't, I'm not pretty good at figuring these doors out, am I? Right, she would like these garlic baguettes. I'll do a bit with our dinner tonight. I think I'll do that gnocchi tonight with some poignant. Right, there we are. Right, I want one each of these corn mints and corn pieces, so that's $2.95 per bag. Those are the pieces and those are the links. Oh. 
did want veggie sausages, but I'm not keen on that brand. It's a pretty good price, mind. 185. No, I'm not going to get them. I see they've got the basic ready meals here. They're 85 pence a meal. Such a good bargain price. Tip is they're cheaper when they're frozen. You know, if you buy the equivalent fresh, it costs more. I'm not sure if I fancy banana flavor Weetabix. What do you think about that? It's 2.99. Limited offer. Eggs are 135. I'm being indecisive in the Easter aisle. My daughter says she's gone off chocolate. That's like Cookie Monster going off cookies. I'm frankly stunned. I'm finding it hard to believe, but she said she absolutely does not want an Easter egg. She doesn't want anything. My mum doesn't eat chocolate. She probably doesn't want one. Look, the cream eggs are one ninety nine for five. Let's get a packet of those, and then anyone who wants one can dig in. So that's a start, isn't it? I've noticed they've got Reese's ones as well. Two forty nine, and I'm going to get my dad one. I don't think I really will want one. They've got the Mr. Chop Easter eggs. They look very appetising to me right now. I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> that looks lovely. It's mini eggs in there and white chocolate. But I've never known my dad to ever eat white chocolate. So I presume that he wouldn't choose it. So I'm going to get him the Fudge Biscuit Blast Easter egg instead. And hope he likes it. And um, he might see this vlog actually <laughs> before Easter. So dad, pretend you haven't seen it if that's the case. Uh, I should put the camera down really. Right, I'll see you at home. I am back. I have a cup of, nice cup of coffee. It's cold, wet, horrible out there. It really is. My umbrella is all up, just like drying off on the floor down there. What a day. It's nearly dark now as well. It's not even that late. It's, oh, I don't know. It's gone half past six. Anyway, right, I digress. I'm going to tell you how much everything costs. So, B&M shop came to £18.43. pence. Iceland shop came to two pounds and twenty-five pence. The little shop that I just did was forty-eight pounds and forty-eight pence. The whole lot for this week's shopping came to sixty-nine pounds and sixteen pence. That's for two people. That said, I did buy a couple of things that cost maybe one or two pounds on Sunday, which I didn't film for either channel. And also, I've eaten out a couple of times. I had a pasty on Saturday and I had a toasty yesterday in town as well. And uh, that's about it, really. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Do feel free to give it a like if you happen to like it. Check out my daily vlogging channel if you're interested. I'll link that somewhere on the end screen as well and in the description below. Here's a playlist of some more shopping vlogs from me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.